Despite my divinity, I feel sickened by and disgusted with the sins of man. Monday, January 14, 2013 at 6.12 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, the time for preparation for the warning is short. This is a time when, no matter how painful the persecution is, you must ignore everything except my holy word. As the preparations begin, let no one stop you, my beloved followers, as you prepare your souls and pray for those who will die in mortal sin during the warning. You, my followers and my sacred servants, will endure, now, the pain I feel, as I look down upon wretched sinners. Despite my divinity, I feel sickened by, and disgusted with, the sins of man, as they are paraded before my eyes. Their arrogance, the insolence and the pride, demonstrated by these sinners, emulate, exactly, the traits of Satan and his demons. These same evil spirits have devoured the souls of God's children, so that they no longer seem like the children they once were, when they took their first breath. So stuffed with pride, and convinced of their own invincibility, are they, that they are no longer capable of allowing the Spirit of God to touch their souls. This is why they need your prayers. I bless you with the grace to save these souls and you must, for my sake, help me to help them. Not content in satisfying his own lusts to feed his bodily desires, man then feels he must interfere with my creation. He then takes steps where he tries, not only to emulate the power of God, when it comes to the creation of human life and the taking of human life, he thinks he has the power to replace the existence of God. He believes now in his own divinity, which is nothing but a lie placed within his soul by Satan, to whom he has pledged his allegiance. These steps, which man now takes, go beyond the boundaries permitted by God. Now that the churches of God are to be besieged by the spirit of evil, from enemies and impostors, the punishment will finally descend upon the earth. My Father's power will be witnessed and his punishment will be severe. It will shock even the most arrogant sinner, who will be in no doubt whose hand has fallen upon the earth. My Father will do this in order to rid the earth of wickedness, while enabling, at the same time, the growth of his army of loyal followers who will help in the salvation of souls. Sin has damaged the earth you walk on and it can be seen in disease, pollution and the corruption among your governments. The stain of sin covers the world, so that it has become a disgusting and vile thing in the eyes of my Father. He, who created the world as a place where he could nurture his family, is heartbroken. My father is also angry and the scales of justice have now tipped. His punishment cannot be stopped where it has become necessary. Help your brothers and sisters, especially those who have created laws which interfere with those created by God, the Most High. You must do this through the crusade prayers. Be strong. Be brave. Be hopeful and fear nothing, if you love me. Your Jesus.